know that where you are right now is where you're supposed to be mastering skills so that when that opportunity comes you ready Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Brianna, and if you have not yet subscribed, make sure you do so because my content is based on fashion styling, mindset shifts, heavily based on my faith, as well as business tips for you to get started on your journey today. In today's video, I kind of want to do like a storytelling type vibe. You know, I've definitely seen that circling around on YouTube, but I thought it would be cool to talk about my journey and how it actually has helped me to get to the point that I am today and how opportunities that you may have that you don't realize are really benefiting you for where you're going to go. So to sum all that up, I'm gonna tell it throughout my story, my journey. I know I've done a couple of these, but not in this way. So I'll start from the beginning, which was basketball. I never realized that my position as a point guard would help me as I became a stylist. And I say that because I was a, I was a point guard. I was a point guard, that means I saw the floor, I saw where everybody was before they got there, like I saw the details of all the plays, I saw everything. And if you think about it, when you're styling, you have to see those things. I know sometimes I would get booked for jobs just to sit in front of a camera and see how things look. I didn't even have to provide the clothes. So just being aware and paying attention to details was so important. I really feel like when I was a basketball player, those skills that I learned actually benefited me as a stylist. So I was a basketball player in high school, right? And I got recruited to play basketball in college as well but something in my spirit something in my soul was like you know I did not want that to be a career I felt like I had played for so long I played from the time I was eight years old all the way up until my freshman year of college and it started to become like a job and I didn't want that to be my life I didn't I didn't want to wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning go to practice, go to one-on-ones with the coach, go to team meetings, watch film, then have a game. I just didn't want that to be my life. I decided not to play anymore. And then I ended up joining a fashion club, which had all these different types of events and internships that you could attend or participate in. So I decided to do that. And from that club, I fell into modeling because they also, Susie, sit down sit down baby they also had modeling and i became a model and from becoming a model i ended up becoming a model coordinator which means i taught models how to walk i casted models i created the run and line of show and later on in my career working new york fashion week shows i did the same thing i put the looks together according to the flow of the show and how I wanted the run of the show to be. My experience in college, just participating in a fashion club actually helped me later on in my career. Okay, so we got from the basketball point to that and you can see how those things also helped me in my styling career. Then I remember, you know, I was interning and everything, wasn't making any money. If you haven't seen my previous video, it's really like the first video I ever did where I kind of give the full story. But I didn't have any money. I didn't know what I was going to do. I came home. I started working a job and that job had me using Excel spreadsheets and numbers and all those things. And yes, I learned it in school, but not necessarily in a business sense. Like in school, you learn the technical things. You learn, you know, what the functions mean and all that. But in my job, I really learned the meaning behind that. As a stylist, when I get receipts and I'm coordinating or organizing the receipts based on the budget and what's been purchased and how I have to return it back to close a job. I was a billing coordinator and it showed me how to properly put certain information into Excel spreadsheets or invoices 
for my business for styling. So we went from basketball, we went from a billing coordinator, a model coordinator, and even through all those things, I was also a blogger. <laughs> I feel like I'm jumping around in this, but I'm just trying to, I'll get to the point. Let's backtrack a little bit. I went from playing basketball, going to college, joining the fashion club, becoming a model, becoming a model coordinator. Also, after college, of course, I interned a little bit and then came back home, got a job as a billing coordinator. And as those five things alone really set the tone for the business side of my styling business. But then I also learned a lot of other skills. Coming from doing those things and moving, coming back home, when I was home as a billing coordinator, I still really wanted to do something in fashion. So I was still going back and forth to New York booking jobs, but I still had that. It wasn't enough for me to just jump and move because my goal was to move to LA because I wanted to be a commercial stylist and brand stylist. I eventually became celebrity stylist, brand stylist, and commercial stylist, but that was my goal, was to save money in order to do that. When I was styling those jobs, going back and forth to New York, one of them was that New York Fashion Week show, which I learned so much about from college. But I realized that I still wanted to do more of my own. And I've always been like an entrepreneur where I really wanted to start a business, have my own thing. And so I launched a boutique with my mom and aunt and it was called Trois Menage because it was three of us. Yes, that was the name. But it was really cute because we had a whole bunch of like nice clothes. We even went to Magic in Las Vegas where we could meet different vendors who were selling different clothes that we could sell on ours. So like wholesaling, it was a boutique for women. And that alone, me starting a business like that really helped me understand even what I do today, even though it's coaching and even though I sell digital products and things like that. The skills that I learned from running a boutique, actually even just working with family, show me so many different things within myself. So as far as the business side of things, I learned how to shoot, like photograph. I learned how to use a camera. I, I learned how to build websites. I learned how to use Shopify. I learned how to list products and prices and how you determine the, the amount that you should upsell a wholesale product for. I learned how to use social media to benefit as far as selling an item. I learned so many different skills um, just from that opportunity, that experience. And I didn't know that that would lead me to where I am today, but I just knew that those skills that I learned would eventually benefit me. We never know. And sometimes we never know in the moment that we're in how that is going to benefit us in the long term. But that's why it's so important to be present in the moment. And I can't say that I was because back then I feel like I was young, I was running around. That's why I created this YouTube channel too because I want you guys to understand that I've been where you are, I still am where you are, but there are times when I was younger, I felt like I was just so wanting to hit this goal, do this thing, and I overlooked a lot of things that actually really did help me in the long run. A lot of things that I did help me become the person that I am today and I want you guys to not be so hard on yourselves when it comes to maybe where you are right now maybe you're not where you thought you would be at this moment but know that where you are right now is where you're supposed to be and it's going to help you get to where you really want to be and when you get there you're gonna have everything you need because you already do you're just learning the skills that you need when that opportunity comes it's literally just about mastering skills so that when that opportunity comes you ready like you are ready and it's going to be like it's nothing okay boom so the business failed <laughs> the business did not do well however i did learn so many things which eventually turned into other opportunities that boom i was ready for so that happened later on in life i ended up working with different brands to help them launch their clothing brands and 
their um, brands in general. So like working with Under Armour, yes, they're already an established business. However, I came in, I helped with some different marketing as far as content that they had. I remember for Pride, I did it. I did it for the new, a pair of new Steph Currys that came out uh, for the All Stars. I think they were the Steph Curry boards. Don't, don't be mad at me that I don't remember exactly which shoe it was. But I remember I did the Steph Curry. I did, um, I did a few I did a full TV series with them so that is a part of branding and helping them with marketing as well because they're pushing they were pushing their basketball line at the time then I also helped a football player launch his line and literally did exactly what I did for my business now with him he already had the audience he already had the friends he already had the people that were ready to buy that was my mistake in the beginning because I didn't know exactly who my customer were was when I had the business with my mom and my aunt. However, with him, he was a football player, he was retired, he had his friends, he knew his price point was high because he knew how much they were gonna buy for clothes and the quality of it. And all I had to do was build the website, set up the marketing, great ideas, content, shot. I knew how to pull photographers and models in because I did that as a model coordinator. And also just being a stylist, I knew how to, or I knew who the people were that I wanted to work with because I built up my business, my book of business. I built up the people that I wanted to work with in the industry. So the photographers, the models, the makeup artists, or I just knew how to find people. Like my skill, was so polished that I was able to do that for someone else. Say this to say that that business that failed really helped me long term because I was able to help someone succeed in theirs. And when you do, sometimes it's not necessarily like fail. Yes, you failed what you thought the outcome would have been. However, it's the lessons that you learned that actually are the things and the skills and the tools that are gonna help you when you really need to use it again. So that was another part of it. And then as far as personal styling, brand styling, commercial styling, literally all those things that I did prior helped me be able to style. Like working with models, knowing how to do fittings because I was a model and someone did a fitting on me or how to pose and even directing models sometimes. I knew that from modeling myself or the business side of things and launching a business and it failing. I had, you know what, I had so many. I remember one time in one of my posts on Instagram, I had like a post where it was just about all the different things that I tried. And I swear it was at least 15 to 20. And I say that to say, you just gotta keep going. You know, sometimes I feel like we can get so discouraged if we feel like we failed. And a lot of times we just need to keep going because it's the lesson in it that we need to learn to get to the next step. And again, it's all about the skills that you learn in order to master them so that when the right opportunity comes, you'll know exactly what you need to do. Okay, so a little bit more about this road, this journey. Okay, so after working with the football play player, that was kind of like, you know, a gig. I'm just talking, hopping around with different jobs where I actually realized, wow, I learned that back then and I'm using this now. From there, I had a friend that also wanted to find a way to create some type of impact and give information, valuable information to people from their journey, their experiences as well was previously a model and it turned into being a skincare coaching line so how to start a skincare line from scratch that quickly turned into products and I became the CEO of that skincare line which is actually being sold in Revolve and 13 Loon it's sold in different places I'm no longer the CEO of that because I decided I really want to focus on this like this is where my heart is. Me sharing information, me talking to you guys, me communicating back and forth, whether it be through DMs, one-on-one -on -one coaching calls, um, YouTube, you know, messages back and forth, like that is where my heart is. That's what makes me wake up every morning excited to 
create ideas and content for you guys and hear the feedback that you have for me. I say that to say, I was the CEO of an actual skincare line. I had all those things happen throughout my journey that I feel like brought me there, but the ultimate part of it that brought me to where I am today was me really understanding where my heart lied and where I really want to be, how I want to leave an impact, how I want to help people. And it's through sharing my heart, sharing the information and experiences that I've had as a stylist the ups and downs of my journey and hopefully it helps you so that you don't have to go through the same thing. I built my coaching business. I built an online course where I teach stylists how to start from scratch, start their styling business from scratch because y'all I know it's hard to find information out there. So I, I wrote a book. I literally wrote a book to help you do that. Y'all, I feel like this video was kind of all over the place. I was trying to touch on different topics through storytelling, but I feel like I don't know if I hit it the right way. Please tell me if you feel like you've gotten some valuable information out of this because I'm really trying over here. <laughs> I just feel like it was kind of like chopped all over the place. However, I do feel like I hit some good points. So y'all let me know if you feel like this information was valuable to you. I'll get better at these storytelling videos, guys, I promise. But I just wanted to tap into talking about how you just got to be present in your journey and where you are now. And don't, don't overlook some of the things that you're currently doing because I promise it's going to help you in the long, the long run, the long term of your career you may not even like who i didn't know that i was going to do anything in skincare no idea no idea but i did and i realized that all those things led me up to that all those things led me up to where i am today and even realizing that this is what i really want to do so i want you guys to just be present be present in the moment be present in your opportunities that you have now trust your intuition like trust that what you are doing right now and where you are right now is where you're supposed to be continue to take action steps definitely continue to take action towards where you want to go because you will stumble across or get a sign or something's going to happen to let you know that you're on the right path or if you're not so just be present enough so that you can notice when those things come i love you guys and i hope you found this video helpful I will see you in the next video. Bye.